One, two, one, two. It's time for Colts News. Well, hello there. It's time for Colts News. Today is Wednesday, May 28, 2013, the final Colts newscast of this year. Hi, I'm Monique. And I am Amy. Tomorrow is the 8th grade promotion. Yesterday was 8th grade dance. I hope you guys had so much fun. Good luck in high school, you 8th graders. The promotion starts at 1.30 and ends at 2.30. Also, don't forget to tell your parent that all 7th graders get out of school on Thursday at 12.18. We will miss you, 8th graders. At All 8th graders will have first lunch. The 8th grade awards assembly will be held at Eleanor Roosevelt High School by teams Mrs. Kidd, 10.15 through 11 a.m., Dr. Sapp, 11.10 through 11.50 a.m., Mrs. Bertram, 1 o'clock through 1.45 p.m., Mrs. Walker, 1.55 through 2.35 p.m. Want to see the talent show? It will be up on our YouTube channel soon. Go to youtube.com slash River Heights Colts. And it's red alert time. Whoa! Yeah, all books must be turned into the library by this time. Repeat, all books must be turned into the library. Please remember, don't bring baked goods like cupcakes to school. Leave them at home. Although yummy, just leave them at home. Okay, we are going to take a few commercial breaks. I hope you miss us. <laughs> hey Colts, I'm Christine. I'm Vanessa. And we're freshmen at Roosevelt, and we're here just to talk to you guys a little bit about Roosevelt. So in high school, I just really have to say that you have to get involved. There's so many clubs and activities and sports that you can do, and so you should really um, sign up for those. Because if you're not in any kind of activity, then in, it's just going to suck. You know, you're not going to have anything to look forward to, and it's not going to be fun. It's going to be really stressful, so get involved. And always never forget about your schoolwork. Always like turn everything in time. Don't procrastinate and like always like focus and like just don't get off track. Join sports and do good in school while you're in the sports. Don't just like, slack off in school and have sports as an excuse. And just remember about the good grades. Guys, I'm here with Angel. All right, Angel, what are you gonna, do you have any advice for the seventh graders becoming eighth graders next year? Yeah, um, stay on task, always, be on, always do all your work, and just pay attention because you're gonna need it on the yeah, All right, thank you, Angel. All right, guys, I'm here with Gianna. All right, Gianna, do you have any advice for the seventh graders becoming eighth graders next year? Um, just like do all your work and do everything like you're supposed to do, and it'll be an easy year. Just do all your work. <laughs> And Ms. Dr. Sab, what, what advice do you have for the 7th graders becoming 8th graders next year? Uh, that's easy. As an 8th grade teacher, I look forward to seeing my 7th graders. They're energetic, they're adorable, a little short, but cute. And one thing I love about 7th graders is their excitement to learn. But as an 8th grade student, we really, really are focused on getting you ready for high school. Um, improving your writing skills and most of all your time management, learning how to balance the excessive assignments that your teachers will give you. It's all about discipline. It's about starting the day off fresh with a good breakfast and ready to learn, being happy, being mindful of your social groups and your friends and just choosing really great people that will support you in your learning. And knowing that you have a whole host of teachers and administrators that are here to support you. So I look forward to meeting all these seventh graders next year. I cannot wait. You're gonna have a great year. It'll be one of the great year, best years of your life. So, have a good summer, and we'll see you in August. All right, All right guys, I'm Demond here with... Miss Anderson. All right, Miss Anderson, what advice do you have for the seventh graders becoming eighth graders next year? Uh, do your work. That's the most important thing, is to make sure that you do your work. Study hard, um, ask your teachers questions. Um, that's going to lead to success. And if you have me, you better make sure that you come in correct with a lot of respect because I respect you, you respect me, and we won't have any troubles. Thank you, Miss Anderson. No. Okay, we're back. Did you miss us? Okay. Hey, Colts, do you know how to check your own grades? You, you can just go to our school's website, student section, and click on Student Connect. All you do is log in with your current computer username and password, and boom, you can keep up with your grades. Remember, remember to hurry because if you don't, it will be changed. 
A through G requirements. What are they? They are college prep classes you can take in high school to make sure you can get into a college like UCLA or Cal State Fullerton. When do you take these classes? You'll take them in high school and can make your own class schedule on careercruising.com. Go get on careercruising.com and get yours done. Come and enjoy out your library, but be quiet. Well, that's it for today, Colts. Enjoy Colts. the rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye eighth grade teachers. <laughs> <laughs>